Hello, this is Charles from Cedalino Photography, and today I'm gonna to show you how to wrap an image around an object in Photoshop Elements 2022. Now, in the past, we've had to do this manually. We've kind of had to squish things to be able to make it work. But now in 2022, one of the new features is the warp tool. So let's get right on to it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get an object. Now, one of the favorite objects that we like to use when we're doing these tutorials is a coffee cup, just because it's kind of easy to see where all the edges are and everything. And then we need some sort of a logo. And as you can see, I used our favorite car company, their logo, and I wrapped it around this object. Now, one of the things that I've seen in other tutorials is that people like to do this. They go here and they go to File, Place, and they place this object right on top of their coffee cup. So let me do that. Let me turn this other uh, image off right there after I hit the tick box. And then they bring it down right here and they figure, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and I'm going to go to Image Transform. I'm gonna go to Warp, and then I'm just gonna pull this thing up here like this, using these little handles, and I'm gonna pull this up right there, and then I'm just gonna pull this up right here, and then I'm gonna pull this up right here, and voila, we're done. And that's not really realistic because this logo right here is going to have a little bit of a shift of perspective because if you look at the coffee cup we're looking at it kind of from the top and it's going down a little bit so let me undo that by going to the command z right there and bring this logo this image back to the way it was now the first thing that i want to do is i want to go to the perspective tool now, if you're in the quick or guided edits, you won't see a lot of this stuff. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to the expert mode here at the top. It's where we do most of our stuff. Now you'll notice the sides of the coffee cup right here are angling down. So it's kind of going away from us. So what we need to do is we need to go to the image. We need to go to transform and we need to change the perspective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this top one right here and I'm going to pull this top one out until it kind of matches the side of the coffee cup. So now that we have that, uh, it's not too bad, but this side of the coffee cup isn't really all that great. So now I need to go over and I need to go to transform and I need to skew this just a tiny bit over here. So I'm just gonna take this one and put it not quite as much as this one right here because I want to kind of follow the contour of the cup. So now that we have that done, now we can go in there and we can go to the warp tool. So we're gonna to go to image, we're gonna to go to transform, and then we're gonna to go to warp. Now, the other thing that you'll notice is, is that a lot of people will just pull these down and the logo will be just the way it is. Now we've changed it a little bit because of the perspective, but there's a couple other things that we need to do. I'm gonna pull this down just a bit so that I can mimic the roundness of the cup right there. So I'm going to drag this down just a little bit so this is mimicking the cup. And then I might just bring this one up just a teeny bit like that. Bring this one up here. Now you'll notice also that the logo isn't changing. I need to change this a little bit right here. Need to change that. Need to bring this down a little bit using this handle right there. See this handle, this little dot right there. You can pull this down. You can change the roundness right here. So I'm going to take this up right here. I'm going to try to match this right there. And then I'm going to use this little dot right there and I'm going to change that until we have a pretty good likeness of what the cup looks like. Now the problem is, is that the logo still looks like it is plastered on there with the cup facing us and it's not angled down like it's supposed to. So now what you need to do is you need to grab this one and you need to mimic the actual cup, the roundness of the cup there. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do that again right here. And then when I'm happy, I'm gonna take the green checkbox right there. I will move the 
image up just a tiny bit right there. Now it's not the best. I'll move it around with some of my arrow keys. It's not the best right now. So the other thing that happens is, is that now that we kind of have this wrapped around the cup so that it's kind of matching the shape of the perspective, it doesn't look real because it just looks like it is a piece of red sticker sticking on it and it doesn't really look realistic. So now the next thing that we need to do is we need to go to our blending mode in our layers palette. If you don't have the layers palette, Go right here under the layers right there, click on the layers and your layers will appear right here on the right hand side. And then go to the top and switch this from normal and then go to multiply. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give it a little bit of transparency as if the logo is actually on the cup. Now, if multiply doesn't do real well, you might wanna experiment and you might wanna put darken on there. And that one looks a little bit better and lastly, there's going to be a little bit of transparency to it. So I'm going to take my opacity. I'm just going to dial it down just a tiny bit somewhere in the 80s so that it doesn't look like it's just a flat sticker that I put on there in Photoshop. And there we have it right now. Here is without the image wrapped around the cup. And here is what we did with the image wrapped around the cup using warp. I'm going to have a few more on the new options that are available in Photoshop Elements 2022. Stay tuned for more of those videos. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Cheers.